The One Reborn is honestly a pretty easy boss, at least for this point in the game. You just want to come from Yar Horghul, and then I'd recommend just run straight at this guy to kill him, because he could probably, he might even be able to one-shot you, I think. To get to the shortcut, you can watch the video in the description. As usual, just send the elevator up. And then, this guy I would recommend killing him if you can. Just so you don't get shot on the way down. And then with these enemies, you can kill them. But it'll take an extra bit of time, so I'm not going to bother. You'll just want to keep walking. And then, once you get over here, you're going to want to be swerving because of the enemies, but you want to take a left. Oh wow, I don't understand how I got hit by that, but you should just be able to keep on running. Stay to the left. Once you get around here, you want to sort of hide behind the lamppost, maybe, and then just be swerving. Once you get over here, there's a summon. Highly recommended. He can help you out a good bit. But I'm not going to use him. And then come on through here. Now, for this fight, you could come all the way to the right. I'd highly recommend this strategy. You stay all the way to the right. And then you can come up this stairwell. This fight is very similar to the Tower Knights from Demon Souls. Oh wow, I didn't know he could do that. That's very cool. But you can just kill all these enemies just to make the fight a lot easier. You want to be very quick about this so that the boss doesn't try any funny business. He can shoot a few projectiles, but that should be about it for the most part. And then you can also grab some Quicksilver bullets over here if that's helpful but just kill all these enemies they don't even deal that much damage it's just they may stun you for a split second when you're fighting the boss and that split second could be the difference between life and death so don't want to deal with any inconveniences then you get all the way down pop your bolt paper and then Get whatever hits in when you can. The boss may sometimes be thrashing about. Whenever he starts moving, essentially, you just want to stay out of his way. Of course, you can always hang out over here. This is a very safe place for the most part. Can't really do anything over here. Whenever he lifts his arms, that's when you want to be careful. But. There'll be a lot of times in this fight where he just has his limbs sort of chilling. Such as right now. Whenever he's sort of chill, you just want to be whacking at him. If his front is very active, then his back will be very inactive. So use that to your advantage. And then when his back is active, you just want to go to his front. Just sort of go in circles around the fight. And it'll be very easy for you. When he does that, you want to stay away from him. And when he does that explosion attack, you'll hear it coming. You want to avoid that. You can always hide behind these pillars very effectively, as you can see. And he'll sometimes do an attack where he just summons a bunch of corpses. You can avoid it for the most part. This fight is more annoying than it is difficult. As you see here, you can break his limbs after a good while, just like with Dark Beast Carl. You just want to move on to the next limb. If you have a Beast Blood pellet, it'll make the fight a lot easier. And then, just keep on whacking. By the time you've broken all his limbs, he should be dead. Especially if you have your Bolt Paper active. Finally, 
Okay, so once you've gone around here, you just want to start whacking at his main body. Oh, that was very quick. As usual, get away from that. Stack his next limb. So the limbs you can break are obviously his big limbs, and then you can also hit his head as well as his sort of belly. So you can hit this as well as his head. Oh wow, I'm stuck now. But he should go down. You may die a few times, but it's not, I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, so keep that in mind. And then you just want to activate this, although your next lantern is very close by, just up these stairs. You just want to interact with the sort of corpse, if you can call it that, just interact with this, and then you get another lantern. Alright, hope that was helpful. See ya.